Today, when Representative Mass announced his latest attempt to fix the algae situation, he was mostly joined by supporters, people who say this new proposed legislation gives them hope that the problem can be fixed. We have to send this water south. We, we can't live under these conditions anymore. David Preston has a long history of fighting for clean water. It started when he lived down south as an advocate for the Everglades. There's no policy that says, hey, look, this water is so polluted, we're not going to send it anymore. Now he lives along the Treasure Coast, but his fight is far from over, battling the green waste that is polluting the waters here. It should have been addressed decades ago. It, it's been a long time coming. But now Preston feels that time has come. I, I think it's great that Brian Mass is asking the hard questions. Why do algal blooms occur? That question, at what point will the government decide enough is enough? If you look across uh, the canal right now, you can see the green slick on the surface. This, this is toxic. This is poison. That's why Mass and other lawmakers are trying to get money from the federal government to fix the problem, because they say Florida can't do it alone. We need to get the right quantity of water in the right places at the right times for, for our system to work correctly, and that, that, that's something that just desperately needs to happen. Coming up at 6, hear from a couple that says the algae situation is a life or death situation for them because not only are they battling algae, they're battling autoimmune disease. Reporting from Stuart Nyella Charles, CBS 12 News.